Dance to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Invincible Podcast, probably the best superhero podcast in the universe. This is a show where friends get to sit around and talk all things Invincible, a comic book by Robert Kirkman, Corey Walker, and Ryan Otley. On today's episode, we're bringing back a listener favorite and uh, doing round two of Invincible Super Super Fight. Fight, 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 fight. That's my friend Bill. Hi. And also joining us is TJ. Hey. I'm his friend. You're just TJ. Yeah, we're not friends. It felt weird to say that's my friend Bill. I know. Because I normally say, like, with me are my friends Bill and TJ. You don't ever say friends. I always do. No, you don't. Don't I? No. You never say friends. Really? Ever in bet, your life. Bet. In your make life. Make a bet. Make a bet. I'm to make a bet about that. TJ, how you been? Um, I'm good. I've been good. Yeah? I've been good. What yeah. have you guys been up to? I went to Nickel City Con. How was it? Which is Where? Where is that and what is it? It's, for in, those... it's in Niagara Earl. It's in Buffalo. It's kind of a smaller con. <laughs> I feel like that's an understatement. Smaller con. Niagara Falls Comic Con is next weekend. Which I'll that's also be that's the one in Canada, right? Not the uh, is it the American uh, Niagara Falls Camel Con or the Canadian one? Canada, I think it's Canada, yeah. I don't even know. I think it's the Canadian one. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Nickel City Con, and uh, I got a bunch of commissions. I got some. I got a Batman one. I got uh, Omni Man one. I got a couple Invincible ones. A lot of Invincible f- fans there. Really? Yeah. I'm assuming this is more of a local kind of thing, right? Like, were these like local artists or were these no. artists that really? I mean, there were there were very minimal amount of artists there but they yeah. none they weren't local oh okay yeah yeah but um one cool thing mm-hmm. is that i went and they have like all the cgc like comic books for sale and stuff like that and i went went and saw right in the center was an invincible number one 9.6 no way yeah and they buy and sell them so i went home and i got you, my 9.2 and, and you traded it traded it in and hand gave them that and 200 bucks and they gave me the 9.6 oh, wow. wow yeah very cool. Could you see a noticeable difference? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, I actually have it in the car if you want to look at. It. Oh, after cool. This, after well, this. Well, because I have the nine point two, mm-hmm. so we can compare. Mm. So where was Nickel City Con? Is it, it was, was it at in? the Buffalo Convention Center. Okay. I don't know where that is, but. Hmm. Oh, I think that's where I did a dance off and won during the bridal convention. Hmm. Oh yes, the time yeah. you did a dance off and won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the bridal convention. And, and there was, if, if you've ever been to a bridal convention before, you know that there are a shit ton of ladies there. I've been to many. Okay, so you know that, TJ. I've been to many. Yeah. Uh, all right. Like I said, this is the Invincible Podcast where we talk all things Invincible. If you want to be a part of the show, you can email us at theinvinciblepodcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Shoot us an iTunes review. That's always appreciated. We will read them on the air. Um, we are also the Oblivion Song Podcast. TJ, when is the next episode of the Oblivion Song Podcast? Uh, the next episode will be out June 15th. The next issue will be coming out two days prior We're to that. ready for that one. A, June 11th. Uh, nice. Two days prior to June 15th is not the 11th, oh, TJ. Oh, shit. Welcome to math. Uh, the 13th. It wasn't as ready as math, the Math the 13th. the 13th. It will come out the, the 13th. 13th. The 13th. <laughs> Our and next episode be... <laughs> is June, June 15th. And this will be... Issue number four. Four. It's number exciting. Four. Now, what what was the final issue of the previews that were sent out of Oblivion Song? Six. Was it five? Six. Six. It was a trade. The trade? It's definitely six issues. Yeah. You're talking so, about the first yeah, trade? Yeah, yeah. it was six. So, six so we'll be free from spoilers and to find out what the big cliffhanger is after issue six. Man, yes. I thought it was five. I thought we were closer than that. Mm. Oh, no. So we're only halfway. They released the solicits for... Um... Recovers. I don't know. August. Look. Yeah. Which I think would be. Now that Invincible isn't in there, be, I don't, I don't look at the solicits. Uh, um, our next episode, though, in two weeks of the Invincible podcast is actually going to be Tech Jacket Part 1. We want to give everybody a heads up so they can you can get a head start on reading it to follow along with us. We're going to be. Go ahead, Bill. Now, if, if you haven't read Tech Jacket before, this, in my opinion, next to Wolfman, is you know what I I would even say that it could be tied with Wolfman because it is the best other like Invincible universe. 
I will say that I'm starting to get a head start on it. Have you started and reading I've it? I've almost finished volume one. And you love it, don't it's you? It's really good so yeah, far. Yeah, it's, it's fucking fun. great. It's, it's just so really, fun. It's just really fun. The, the, the um, uh, relationship between him and his dad mm-hmm. is amazing. Yep. Like the fact that he's still kind of a kid and like I'm really curious and... to see, because right now what I'm reading, volume one, is pre-Invincible. This is before Invincible came out. Mm-hmm. Like it's, I'm excited to see what he does um, when it becomes like, you know, when he revisits Tech Jacket and it comes out like long after Invincible's been running and, and to see how that how In that my is. opinion, it's kind of like the Green Lantern of the invincible All right. universe like he's very he's, he's very much wow, like i never really thought of it that way because they pr- he protects and you like, like it yeah what and you like it tech jacket i would not like green lantern i hate. I, I didn't green mean lantern. that i meant like it's more of a, it's, it's a broader spectrum like invincible is very much earth and then like this weather mm, planet, this is very you know, space this is very <laughs> spacey <laughs> and nice, aliens nice. And, okay but yeah. yeah but so far just within the first trade it's fun picking up on the the little things that are tied to the Invincible Universe, and I'm excited to talk about it. It'll be neat. So that'll be fun. That's in two weeks. Uh, remember, it's trade paperbacks one and two. We'll be continuing that uh, later, though. But for the part one, it's just going to be trade paperbacks one and two of Tech Jacket. Uh, the other thing, TJ, uh, which you just pointed out to me, was that Walking Dead cover. That Walking Dead cover that they released, I think it's coming out in October. Why, yeah. is it, why are they releasing it? Is it for Halloween? Because October, the anniversary? Oh, October the anniversary, is the yeah. actual 15th anniversary. They released the cover, and it's, it's basically the the normal cover of walking dead issue one yeah, only he's out standing outside of a comic book shop and there's comic books which is cool because instead of just a storefront it's a comic book storefront mm-hmm. like you know yeah. it's a very smart take on the cover and all the comic books that are just scattered around like garbage there's invincible there's a uh, super dinosaur yep. there's wolfman. Wolfman, wolfman tech jacket and then, yep. batman superman the song. there was uh, what else? Batman, Superman. There was, was another one. Yeah, there was Action Comics and Detective. Yeah. It was yeah. kind of hard to see some of them. There was one that I, I think didn't it even was, see Wolfman until someone I on Twitter was, pointed it out. I think it was Super yeah. Dinosaur that was like me and Liz were looking at it, and she's like, "Oh, Wolfman." I'm like, "Oh yeah, no shit." And then I was like, "I think that's Super Dinosaur," because you can only kind of yeah. see from like the color of the cover. I really hope this is a Outcast was on it. You're right. Yep. I really hope that this is a. Oh, I think Birthright was one of them. I, I hope that it's a wide... Extremity was one of yeah, them. Yeah, that was cool. It was in the top. Uh, I hope it's a widely available cover. I hope this isn't going to be one of those covers that are just impossible to find. Yeah. Um, because it is a really cool cover to uh, to have. But yeah. yeah TJ's pulling Manifest up. Manifest Destiny is there. Oh, yeah. Invincible, right. obviously Walking oh, Dead. Oh, I didn't even look inside the comic book shop. Uh, is there Savage, anything? Savage Dragon. Really Oblivion inside. Song, obviously. Oblivion Song. Um, Nothing really inside the shop. Birthright, goon. Super Dr- Dinosaur, Goon, goon Wolfman. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, there's Captain America Shield in the in the comic book shop. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. One thing we last episode I mentioned the fact that the final Ultimate Collection Volume Twelve would be out by now, and it was supposed to be. It got delayed a month. For some reason. So you're a liar then. Yeah. You're no, a no, dirty Amazon liar. Amazon is a liar. Mm. They made Amazon a liar out a liar of you. Or ah, uh, Mister, I'll make a liar out of you. Amazon's a liar, or they actually. I don't deleted. know what happened. And the weird thing is. Uh, a few weeks before, yeah, yeah. TJ, will you? He said a few two weeks. weeks. There you yeah. go. Before we even said that on the podcast, uh, or maybe a week or so, Ryan Otley tweeted a picture of him holding it. So that's the crazy thing is like the pre cop, the pre proof, whatever copies have been made and sent out. There, the, had, to, the there advanced, had to have been an the error. The advanced copies or have like been that. sent there out. Had to have been some sort yeah, I wonder of if error. there was a print error or something. Yeah. But a whole month, which kind of sucks. So towards the end of next month, we'll have. Uh, the final hardcover to, to talk about. Has your friend read Volume 5 yet, Bill? She is halfway through. Okay. Yeah. She's in the good stuff. I know. She's getting into the good yeah. stuff. That's cool. Um, everybody has been clamoring for some resolution to your bet. So before we walked in here, Bill, you opened up your phone to check... Because this is official right now. I mean, it could have changed again. It, it could change tomorrow, and I could win the bet. But, but the bet so just was... to, to reiterate yeah. what well, the bet was. Go for it. Uh, I think it was a month ago. It was two two uh, two episodes ago. Uh, Bill made a very bold comment that he thought that Deadpool two would beat out uh, Infinity War. Infinity War uh-huh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes had to have a higher score. Which to him, I said, I did not believe. Would be you the fact. scoffed and laughed in my face, and you were like, "That's impossible." Blah blah blah. I didn't blah. think it would either. And who was right? 
Okay, but you know what? So, and who was right? I consider myself Say who a was winner right. here. Okay. So tell tell me, walk me through what the last like you know few days have been like. The for last you. few days have been well. The last like <laughs> ups week. and downs. I guess for you. It, I guess it would be a week. Yeah. The last week was like uh oh TJ because it was an eighty five. He's and... texting us, <laughs> talking shit, and I said, it's not over yet, it's so, not over yet. Deadpool 2 was at an 85%, and this was about a week ago, and Infinity War was at an 84 mm-hmm. So I was like, oh shit, and, and Deadpool was out for like two weeks, or like a week maybe. No, you texted us that the day it came no, out. No, It was no, the day sir. it came out. So then, then they were tied about two days later at 84-84, and then the last time that I checked, which was right now... No, I texted you and I said I copied and pasted your exact comment of uh oh and it was, it was still 83 higher. and Infinity War had 84. Mm-hmm. And okay. now so then they dropped eat they each dropped a percent. So in Avengers Infinity War as of today, which is the May 24th, um Infinity War is at an 83 percent on Rotten Tomatoes and Deadpool 2 is at an 82 percent. Literally one fucking percent off. It's almost like people were listening to the podcast and we're like, "Oh shit, we gotta fucking vote for this. We gotta, we gotta put in a review saying it's good, so it counts as a as a positive review." All so right. I, I could next time. You are impressed that it was a fucking percent away. Admit it. Admit it. No, I knew. I knew. You, you know, uh, no, you, you were I knew. thinking it was gonna be at least a five point swing. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be like a twenty point swing after I fucking saw the movie. Wow. I couldn't I, I was I wanted so badly for it to end in a tie. It was so close to ending in a tie. Ugh. So let's talk about the movie. Alright, so we are gonna play Super Fight, Invincible Infused Super Fight, and we've got something else to get to that I'm excited about. But before both of those, let's take just a couple minutes. We'll talk about Deadpool 2. Uh spoilers. I think we should, I think we have to do spoilers in order you for can't, our Yeah, opinions. you can't talk about it because I mean the thing about Deadpool is what a, what a spoiler would be was like all of the references and stuff like that which you can't really. Yeah. Talk so about maybe we can I'm put a, um some limits in there and yeah, no, we'll set a timer. No, it's just, yeah, I'm setting I'm setting a 3 minute timer. We have 3 minutes to talk spoilers. Skip ahead 3 minutes starting now if you don't want to hear spoilers. All right. Real quick, I'm going to say I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. I didn't think it was terrible. I thought that they repeated a lot of the same jokes from the first movie. Um, I think that before you even give your opinion, I'm going to prep you. I'm going to prep you right now that if you say that you enjoyed Deadpool, but you still had a problem with the ending of of Infinity War because you thought of the possibility of it being all for nothing, but Deadpool 2 has confirmed that it was all for nothing, then fuck you, Bill. A fuck you to death. A fuck you to death. Death. Easy, easy. Okay. It's right. not, not to death. That, not I to mean, death. that sound that was vulgar, <laughs> is what it was. A little much. Go, Bill. Go. Okay. Um, I liked it. I thought that I. I think I liked the first one a little bit more. If That's not, crazy. if not the same, a lot more as this one. Um, I liked the first one because it was more structured. But I, I thought that the end, the beginning of Deadpool, like shocked me. I was like, holy shit! How can they come back from this tragedy? What happened? Yeah. And and but even the credits were like, wait a minute. Did that just happen? And yeah. and and to your point, TJ, before uh, the ending of Deadpool, him going back in time and like fixing everything, and then actually changing the beginning of the movie was to in fact make fun of everything. No, it wasn't. Yes, it so, fucking was. Right, so as far as I, you really think that that they that they were making fun of Infinity War? Not Infinity War directly, but to f- shit like that. There was meant to be like no, on purpose. Like All right, we have a minute thirty left. Uh, I think that uh, as far as the end goes, with him like possibly changing everything like that. I, it's I, I I view I view Deadpool now as a spoof movie. It, they mentioned Thanos in it. They mentioned the DC universe. They, he says Batman and they talk about mm-hmm. Martha. Like it is a spoof movie of all Marvel. Like who cares? It doesn't matter what universe it in. I don't think it matters anymore. If Fox is gonna own it, like or Disney's gonna own Fox, I kind of view it as just for fun. Anyways, he went back in time and killed the other version of him. Like so, what's canon there? Like the, none of that makes sense. So mm-hmm. it's just for fun. It's just for a laugh. I laughed. I, th- I want to say I laughed more in this one than I did the first one. The first one is probably a better movie because of the structure and the story makes way more sense. Um, but this one, I laughed a lot. I feel like it had very high highs in terms of some of the jokes and very, very low lows with some of the writing. I think almost every line that Russell was given was really bad. Um, Russell's the kid. Yeah, I hated him. Yeah. Hated him. Yeah, I hated, I, everybody. That did. took me. It took me out of the movie a lot. I despised Cable until he became good. I liked Cable despised a lot. And I, I, him as I a, really as a liked villain. Domino. I was Domino was awesome, character. dude. I Domino loved cool. Domino. I like Domino. Yeah, like, she was really cool. And, and that was whoever I, uh, showing her power as uh, as Lucky. That was awesome. Hey, that Yukio. was very cool. Oh hey, my wait. god! That, was that not like the best running joke the, the whole time? time? The whole time. Hey wait, hey Yukio. 
All right, so, so we have 15 seconds until people are going to I thought it was okay. Players. I thought it was good, fun. I probably will never see it again. I, yeah. I, I only saw I, the first one I once, too. It was I okay. Agree. It was okay. I want to see it again. I feel like I feel like I will like it more the second time around, just because I went to a sneak peek. Yeah. And it was more of an event, you know what I mean? As opposed to like being able to sit and enjoy the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. I, I, like, I think I liked it more than you guys liked it then. I have no doubt you did. But yeah. I, I also. I mean, I, with, like, I, I left it thinking that it might have liked it more than the first one. Mm-hmm. Like I, I really liked it. Mm, uh, we I got an, I love the first one. Yeah. Uh, I, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, probably not. We got an email from our friend Jordan Gilbert. What's up, Jordan? He uh, wrote in with a couple suggestions for Super Fight. Uh, he also said that uh, he loved Deadpool two. He says he needs more cable from Josh Brolin. I really did like the way it ended. I wanted more cable. Like, I loved yeah, cable. Yeah, with like the, the team mm-hmm. when, like he, when he became good. I yep. liked him a lot. When he was a villain, I didn't like him at all. Yeah. Uh, Jordan says I felt that everything flowed better than the first, and nothing was forced. Second thing, he wants to know our theory on all these time travel rumors around Avengers Four. Personally, I see it coming, but it feels like a bit of a cop out, and I hope they don't rely on it too much. That's all I got for you guys. Love, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. I'm so sure. I don't know. I'm try. I try and distance myself a little bit from Avengers, like rumors and all that kind of stuff. But this is a common one because it's like, well, how else are they gonna fix this? I think it's okay. I mean, it, time travel is so iffy and weird. So like I, doing it right and handling it right. I agree that it, they could incorporate time travel in it, but. It, they, they'd have to do it in a very cool, unique way. They couldn't just, like, grab the time stone and go back in time, like, something stupid yeah. like that. They'd have to do something cool with it, which I think is the, almost impossible to do. Yeah. So, in a way, I kind of hope they there don't is, do it. There is something somewhat spoilery that I do know. I know, too, and I want to talk about it. Because I think that's do you, fucking crazy. No, I don't. Do you, do you know? Want, do you want me okay. to tell you? Do you care that much? I really... It's probably going to be in the trailer. Like, I don't... I, like we've talked about this before about how so I'm not I'm not a fan well, of Marvel let me, let me, movies, let me but I loved Infinity War. I don't know yeah. if I want to spoil. Uh, it. I, I can say it without spoiling. There are images out there of like potentially of them using going back in time somehow, and I like the idea. Where? Of, yeah, I Where like are their images. I like the idea of them doing that and seeing. Oh, other things. because it's like a finale, so they're going back to like the big point. I can actually. That actually makes sense. I would love that. From a like, to see, producer like, standpoint. To see other things. To see them go to other parts of the MCU and oh, revisit it. Oh, even... If, I mean, it's, so it's time travel, but it's not... Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I, you mean time travel not in just Infinity War, but like to Iron Man 1. Yes. Oh, that's fucking cool. Wouldn't that... How fun would that be? That would be like to, to cap off this huge... I, I would only like it. I would only like Again, it. Again, I don't know if any of those are real. I'm just, these it, are just rumors. If it referenced things like that that happened. Okay, so the best time travel movie I've ever seen, mm-hmm. Harry Potter. And that the one was really smart. Really? Not Back to the Fucking Future? Uh, no, Back to the Future is a terrible fucking time oh travel movie. Oh my God. I mean, it's a great mean? movie, but it's a, ti- it's a terrible time travel movie. Like, You're none of the time dumb. travel makes any sense. Oh. But my favorite part in that movie was was everything that happened in the current timeline when they went when they went back in time. You're talking about Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes, still happened because they were the ones who were there doing it in the background. Yeah, like that's how I would. I would love for that kind of stuff. That's how I would want. I mean, I've seen other other movies that do things like that. The key to time travel is it can't fucking change anything. Well, the thing is, it has to become another timeline. Right. No, as soon as you no, go back, that's I a new timeline. I don't like, like that. Star Trek. Yeah. yeah, like Star Trek, like what they did with the the Abrams universe. Mm-hmm. Like as soon as it goes back, that's yeah, another that, branch on that timeline. I don't want that. For the Infinity other one continues War. existing because literally the, they go back in time and then they change um, what happened in Iron Man. It 1. happened in Invincible. And then it's just like they're just gonna go back and just rewrite it however the fuck they want to rewrite write it. And I hate that. Yeah. That is, I agree with Jordan that that's a huge cop it, out. It happened in Invincible multiple times. I mean, you change the timeline and it becomes a new timeline. So I have the old Eve came back and said, yeah, but told it didn't Mark, change tell the main you, story. I, I know it did for them. I don't. Their story changed. That's fine, but I don't. If it changes the main story of, of the Marvel universe, and then we continue on in this new timeline, but I'll we, hate that. but we know that. Uh, the MCU is going to be dramatically different, you know what I mean? So maybe that is it. Yeah, maybe we, this is the end, yeah, and but it we changes it forever. That to be it, for it to be completely different because we were expecting like I expected all the, the main to ones do it. to die, yeah. and then there to be the new well, Avengers. Well, that could, that could like still be those. What I'm saying. Yeah, it could be. I hope it, it is. I don't want it to be completely different because they because just go back to 
and use time travel as an, as a cop out to rewrite however yeah. they want to rewrite. Yeah, I don't know. It's it, time travel is always so. Did uh, Did you guys also hear that there's a time jump? No, I don't know. Like about a that. substantial time jump. Really? Oh God. Gwyneth Paltrow, during in an interview, uh, said something that was very spoiler. All right, then don't say it on the air. Uh, I'm gonna say it on the air. Don't because I don't want right to hear now. it either. You don't want to hear it? No, I don't. Oh. That's all right. Let's move on to the next thing. But yeah. I'm excited. Well, I, I think it's amazing that they finished filming Avengers 4 and they're editing it now and it's out in less than a year. Mm, mm-hmm, like, that's mm-hmm, so cool. Mm-hmm. Like, we might see a trailer. What? We, when do you think we're going to see the trailer? Comic-Con. No way. Mm-hmm. No so, way. A year think, away? I hope Christmas. They that's said that they I, were going... That's what I was going to say. No, Christmas. you know what we'll get? We'll, we'll get the we'll title. Get, we'll get the title in the form of, like, a movie, but they're not going to... I don't think we'll get footage. Yeah. Like, I just, think, like, the teaser reel. Right, or it's right, just the right, name right, popping up. Right. Yeah. I want to see that around summer. Yeah, mm-hmm. this summer around Comic-Con. And I want to see uh, a trailer around Christmas. And I want it to show, like, nothing. I don't want it to show much at all. We're going to get something Robert Kirkman-y at Comic-Con. I don't know. He, I, I he said so. Really? <sighs> well, he said so in the, in the last issue of Invincible in the letters column. He said, we got more coming for you, dot, 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 around Comic-Con season, yeah. around San Diego Comic-Con season. Hmm. I can't wait. I want more. Uh, next up, we've got a little package. This yeah, is... you do. Oh. <laughs> no, this is uh, uh, Xavier sent us a, a little box here that I'm going to open up. That's a little box. And use this very, very sharp scalpel. I probably shouldn't be using for this. It's uh, an X-Acto blade. It is an and X-Acto we're blade, opening. sorry. Um, we're opening. Can you be careful? Oh my, dude. Ryan's having difficulties. Oh, I got it, He's I got it. He's never opened a box before. <laughs> it's a big moment for him. What does that say? It says, thought, thought you, you guys, guys might, m- might enjoy, enjoy some more Kirkman, Kirkman books. books. What? We're ruining this. P.S. Sorry for let the me, awful handwriting. Let me know. I got to pull up his email. Let me know when you get them. Love, Xavier. P.S. Sorry for the awful handwriting. All right. Let's see what you got, Xavier. Oh, more tape. Busting out the knife again. Oh, my gosh. Not towards me. <laughs> and one side... And it's this is kind of how my comics come every uh, every month or every other week. Oh, really? You're still doing that online comic mm-hmm. book ordering thing? Yep. I, do you still like it? Yeah, I do. They come in always in perfect condition, and I enjoy it very much. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. The Infinite Number 1. This is the Rob Liefeld team-up that he did with him. What's Rob? Who's Rob Liefeld? The creator of uh, oh, Deadpool. Uh, okay. <laughs> and Infinite Number 4. Oh, shit. They're on the back, too. There you go. Infinite 1 through 4. I don't have these. Very, Very cool. cool. Here's a... Um, when did these come out? Let's see. I've got a... Too long to... The cover. We didn't mention this before, but that cover... So, Xavier says, Hey, guys. It's been a while since I wrote in and I recently moved, so it's been hectic getting everything all organized and put back together. But now I'm all set up and I caught up on both of the podcasts. I was, looking for, uh, I was looking for Robert Kirkman books I haven't read. Stumbled across a four-issue run of The Infinite by Kirkman and Liefeld. Sadly canceled quickly due to creative differences, but I like the first four issues. Uh, it seems like it could have been a cool story, and it got some very invincible robot Eve vibes from a couple of the main characters. It looks fucking crazy. Does it? Yeah. I'll read this. How cool. have we not I really like the art. Let's read it. Um, one thing, speaking of Rob Liefeld... Liefeld we didn't mention it before, but he's the one that did the um, Walking Dead cover. No. Which one? No? No, that was Charlie. I thought he was. It was Charlie. Then what did he do recently? He did something. He I know did what you're do talking something. about. And Kirkman was talking to him on Twitter about it. Hmm. I could have sworn it was that. I forgot. Maybe not. Xavier, thank you so much for this. I'm going to uh, make sure I'm going to forward this email to TJ and Bill now, because otherwise they would have read it. Well, this one's got Science Dog on the back. Oh, so there you go. Did you look? open it in the front? When did these come out? Look on the, uh, in the inside. This shit looks crazy. Hmm. Mm. I'm forwarding it to you guys. All right, I want to keep talking here. Yeah, I love the cover. 2011. Okay. I want to say I remember when they came out, but I never got them. This looks very cool. Sweet. So the, so Rob Liefeld Feld, he, I'm assuming was the artist of Deadpool? Yeah, and creator. He was he was one it. of the he was one of the original um, members of Image that split off, right? Yeah, he's like a really, really big name. 
Do the colors really? connect? They look, they look like, like they connect. They should. Maybe not. Oh, wait a minute. Um, all right. You guys ready? I'm ready to kick some ass. You ready to kick some ass? I'm going to read these later. This is exciting. Uh, I didn't mention that I have been reading uh, Tech Jacket. Did I mention that? Oh, I did. <laughs> In the beginning You're of right. the podcast. Sorry. Wow. It's been a while since we... Uh, since we started, I feel like it's, uh, what are we at? Half hour almost? Almost. Okay. Quick little recap, uh, of, the recap of the rules here. So Super Fight, if you guys didn't listen to our round one, go listen to round one. What it is, is it's a card game in which uh, we deal out, or we each pick up, like, so for example, the first fight will be TJ against Bill. I'll be the judge. They each draw three character cards and three attribute cards. Those are the only kinds of cards there are, characters and attributes. Of those three characters and three attributes, they create their fighter. It could be so-and-so with this ability, and they lay those down. When they both laid down their you know, character and attribute card, they discard the other ones, and then they reveal, and they have a couple seconds to argue about why they think theirs would win in a fight. Mm-hmm. And then they each have to draw a random attribute to be added to their character. It could be it could be beneficial, it could be detrimental, it could be, you know, whatever, just wacky, doesn't matter. But that affects the fight, and then you have to continue to argue why you think your fighter would win. Uh, we're going to keep rotating around so we each get to fight each other. Well, the third person is the judge. Uh, I'll occasionally pull up a... Um, location? A location to kind of add to the mix. But one of the rules I said, or saw in the outline, you said location can't cause death? Yeah. So, for example, if you guys are fighting on the moon and you're somebody who doesn't kaboomerang, you, you can't Someone be like... who doesn't kaboomerang? Yeah, somebody who doesn't breathe in space, you can't be like, oh, no, no, you're automatically dead. It's under the dead. assumption yeah, that he has a breathing assumption. apparatus. Huh? Yeah, it's under the assumption that the location cannot kill you. But okay. you can factor in other things in your argument, like uh, there's lower gravity, so his boomerangs aren't flying as well, and so on. Right. Okay. If you throw something on the moon, does it go does it go up? Slow does it slowly like, go up? I feel like it would go. I feel like it would go the same speed, but it just wouldn't stop. Like I was gonna say, I feel like it would go even well, faster. No, there's, there's gravity, so but, it would eventually go down and fall onto the moon. But mm-hmm. would it circum? I don't know. I, guess I, I was it. saying I guess if we you were like the throw moon. it straight up. You know what? This is a good a good argument point if i get kaboomerang first of all i'm going to be pissed because i fucking hate kaboomerang <laughs> and if we're on the moon i'm just I, I i default i take my mask off well let's let's begin all, all right. right all right uh tj Wait. is drawing his three cards so is bill uh i want to say thanks again to jordan who obviously sent in a couple suggestions mike barrett sent in some ge- su- some suggestions also sheriff grimes 24 over on twitter who's sending suggestions uh all right so you're picking your three characters. I clearly you, have you, my first TJ one. decided right away immediately who his about would my be. character. So, so you added new ones then, right? I've added a few new ones. Okay. Yeah. Now, not every single one is invincible. Oh no! This yeah. could be like they're not. Uh, all I did was take some su- super fight cards, and infused it with some invincible related super fight okay. cards so there's some there's there's some that aren't invincible related at all discard pile yeah so we'll do the discard pile right here i have a really interesting one all I right think. so we're always going to go this way in this order for that person to reveal first so i always have to reveal first then it's not no fair. no because when it's me versus you i would reveal first and i have to reveal first when it's me first ryan bill you are fighting powerplex oh shit and not just one powerplex but 50 of them. <laughs> wow. Mm. Now, remind us what Powerplex's power is. He shoots electricity. Right, but how? Doesn't he have those little discs that control it he or ab- absorb he it? He absorbs it. Absorbs, yeah. He absorbs yeah. kinetic energy or something like that, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. What do you got, Bill? I might be fucked. <laughs> All right. So I have Iron Man in robot suit. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. That's so- awesome. Do you ha- I, are you in Iron Man's suit? In robot in suit. In robot suit? suit? So well, is it kind that, of like a Hulkbuster? Yeah, so I am Iron Man in the uh, Thragbuster suit. Hmm. It, it, how I'm assuming. Because it's Iron Man. It's not Tony Stark in robot suit. It's Iron Man 
in a robot suit. So I have two layers of protection on me of almost impenetrable armor. And by the way, this Iron Man suit is the is the fucking Iron Man suit from Infinity War. So good luck. Oh, you you just decided that? Yeah. Which what the the extremis? So it yeah, can like ex- morph into things, even though you're inside a robot already that jacket. can't yeah. morph. Into by the things? way, that's a tech jacket movie right there. Oh yeah. That's all I was thinking about when oh, he was cool. like, yeah, doing that stuff. So what do you think, TJ? Do you think uh, 50 power packs could take Iron Man? Yeah, he's going to electrocute the shit out of you. And... Yeah, but I could just shoot you from afar. Oh, wait, are, do we have I can a shoot location? you from afar. Well, let's see. Uh, let's not do a location right, for this because right. that could have impacted your decision. All right. I feel like, I feel, like I, I feel bad because I don't remember where power packs gets his power from he worked for a company he stole the technology and um remember even when he broke out of prison uh the one guy had to pin him down the guy from young blood who was made out of rock uh-huh. and he said that he could it just tickled him and he would just hold him down right. so yeah he does burn off his energy he does absorb it from being a hit so when invincible was beating him up he absorbed so much that he expelled a bunch and killed his wife and child Are you sure that's what it was or he just got angry and fried his definitely not kid? definitely not angry no. i'm pretty sure it's it's he blames impacted. invincible for because it. that make they make a point to say when he breaks out of prison don't don't hit him and even mm-hmm. when when he breaks down crying the second time he like comes back after um invincible uh invincible is like grabbing him. he's like i know how to beat you now like you, in, oh yeah he just lets him he lets wear him out wear his energy out. Yeah, yeah you're right okay all right so iron man could do that you know? just, if you can get close 50, to me, all fifty of you, just 50, all though. fucking fifty of me. I don't know. TJ, no TJ, I'm, I'm really everywhere. Good. I'm all over the fucking. TJ, pl- reveal, city. reveal your uh, wild attribute. Flip your random one. This, what is it? So and I'm made I... of stone. All right, so well, fifty one... stone power plexes. <laughs> okay, so I am Iron Man in a in robot suit, and I'm also half Viltrumite. I mean, you're already in a Hulk Buster. So, I mean, being half Vultramite, Vultramite inside of, I mean, I know, it's not really adding anything. I know I'm trying to win, but I really don't think that I would stand a chance against 50 Power Plexes. I feel like I'm leaning towards your way. Like, really? towards you. Like, you're not doing a good job. Like, he has to kill you, doesn't he? Like, first of all, he has to get through one layer of armor, then a second layer of armor, and then kill a Vultramite. Half of Vultramite. I'll power you down. You Fucking... can't. No, but okay. So what? Oh, okay. All right. I'm now. I'm liking this, Ryan. <laughs> You've inspired me. So what happened in Avengers? Okay. Since you know what's funny is that I was right now. Hold on. I was go. I was actually thinking about that point in my head because I was just watching something uh, that actually went through every single time um, Iron Man ever got hit with the electricity and his suit powered down. Oh. But but it also it charged makes it. no sense <laughs> because in Avengers, you're right. Thor hit him with lightning and oh, power at 1,000%, okay, which then. is a huge plot hole in all of the when, Avengers and when, Iron Man movies. When else in an Iron Man movie does his armor shut down I I, via I literally, electricity? I'll send you the, the uh, YouTube video, but it actually went over it. Really? Uh, I don't remember all, it. All the different I, ways. I feel like it, he went into space and it... It powered down. He went so was high. Different... Oh, was it was it um, Whiplash's things? Did those power him down? No, he just he just took it. And he, he just took s- it. He went around. Yeah, he didn't power down. I think TJ has like fifty. Like if it was anything less than twenty, your t- powerplex is done. But fifty. That's what I'm saying. I would, uh, but but I mean, but presum- then again, presumably my armor would be at like fifteen million percent power. So all you would be doing is adding power to me. If you're going by that. But which I am because it happened. No, it's because you said that this was Iron Man's suit from Avengers, from Avengers: Infinity War. That's a different suit. Hmm. It's no, mm-hmm. no. Oh, you didn't let me finish. Uh, you didn't uh, let me finish. Uh, he can also use his extremis. Is that what it's called? The yeah. extremis uh, armor to to retrograde into his his. <laughs> old, he can morph it into any Iron Man suit that he wants to. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing: Tony Stark's a little bitch. All right, and. Powerplex is always fucking angry and Which like crying. He has a lot downfall. of emotion. And Tony Stark is that's is not a his fucking, downfall. That's what a, makes his character. Here's my problem. And he's gonna freak out and he's gonna kill you. Here's my problem. I don't think in this scenario, Tony Stark knows. To, to Viltrumite Tony Stark knows that hitting him is what gives him his energy. He would find out in a minute. He would he hit would. him with a blast and he would see that he just powered up. Unless I let you keep hitting me to power myself up. So you don't think that Tony Stark would be able to just fly around until 
all 50. I keep getting lot like the fact that there's 50. <laughs> there's 50. We're and, spread and, now. And the funny thing is, and the funny thing is, like, you think after a while they would just start punching each other to build up more energy? Oh, they probably could do that. Uh, you're done. Sorry. I'm going to call it. That would be really funny, especially because they're made out of stone. They would hit each other so hard that they yeah, would just build up really more energy. <laughs> I can't even really hurt them. They would just jump and they, like, smash their face up against the wall or something like that to just build up energy and then... Okay. Let's call it. Sorry, Bill. So, That'd be a cool fight. So, They'd just be jumping off of buildings in stone, hitting him, which makes them more powerful because that's... Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so they would, almost, they would almost not be able to use their electricity power Bill? against me, but they... Draw oh, your okay. cards. All right. Yep. One. All right. All right. So TJ's the judge. It's me versus Ryan. Let's see here. Then we start to dance. I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your My love is handmade for somebody, somebody like me. me. All we right. got. All right. Oh, I have really good ones. Choose. I'm gonna go with the one that I want to beat Ryan with because. All right, I'm gonna I go. With, I'm gonna go one. with a pretty strong one. Let's see. Oh, that would be fun. I like doing funny ones too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I know, but I mean, they're, Bill's they're... always gonna go for the kill. <laughs> and that's how I won last time, bro. All right, Bill. What if uh? Who's vibrating, TJ? That's your phone. Mm-hmm. Bill, you go first. All right, so I am Conquest. Of course. Fuck. I feel like you got him last time. And I did. I did get Conquest twice. <sighs> and yeah, there, I... There are only two duplicates for characters in this deck, and there's two there's Conquest. There's only duplicates? Ah. Oh. Two Conquest, two Invincible. Okay. So You should I, have, like, a lot, a lot of, of duplicates. duplicates. <laughs> oh, that would, that be, would be funny. So you keep drawing duplicates. What the fuck, Ryan? <laughs> Do you think it could also be the attribute card, too, <laughs> yeah. is a duplicate? Oh, uh, I just had 50 of them. It yeah, could have been yeah. duplicate, 50 of them. I wonder how many times TJ is going to interrupt. Hmm. Captain interrupting. We'll All see. Right, so All right, so let's am, find I, out. Oh, my God. So I am Conquest, and I can control the weather. On okay. top of my Man, astonishing it, strength. It was really close because I almost my attribute one of my attributes was as afraid of water and that would have sucked. <laughs> but I'm Adam Eve. And we all know how that ends. And I have laser eyes. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So I, I mean, you could assume Adam Eve having laser eyes. I mean Adam Eve shot pink at Conquest and burnt his skin off. Yeah. Which could be her eye laser eye power. And we know Well, what, it's an additional power. That That's her Conquest. normal pink power. How would the weather affect Adam Eve's ability to do things. Not if anything, it might fuel me. You want to send down yeah. rain? I might turn that rain into something well, else. Why would, but why would Conquest send down rain? I mean, I would make oh, like a tornado example. or 15 tornadoes. Yeah. What would Eve do? In, 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 I mean, she can fly, but she can't fucking fly great in a tornado. Maybe I... I'm, I don't know. I'm surprised we haven't answered answered this question before or asked this question before but i know we've talked about the limits of adam eve's powers a lot Mm -hmm. but i don't think we've ever asked the question is could she turn your insides into something you know what i mean she can't affect human matter true unless she is under extreme stress which is wait control human matter as in plant life uh human life but as as in like turn it into something else yes. or hurt it because she, her I don't think pink she... beam roasted his skin off. But that was when she was under complete stress. That was that moment okay. when she healed herself and then attacked him, I think. So could, so I'm fighting somebody... But no, somebody... she can hurt people. She can like make a wall that yeah. smashes yeah. someone. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's what I was mean referring she can't to was her... Okay. No, her pink beam wasn't affecting human matter. It was, it was hot. It was, it was a just laser, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so... We know that Adam Eve can't die. I say you will fuck me up, but then you will push me to the point where I become too powerful. She'll always be too powerful. She'll yeah. always just die and reboot, and Conquest is mortal. He's yeah. not immortal. Yeah. Do you think that he, if he, like, came down and smashed her head, like, she was yeah, still Yeah, what back? if she was decapitated? Yeah, we always brought up that question. Like, if, if Eve was decapitated, would she be able to use so, her powers? So, in this fight, I feel like I, I could... With tornadoes, hurricane weather, get like, her off balance. The worst, I could get her so disoriented and just rip her head off and squish it before she can do anything because it's Would her the weather brain. matter with my bubble? Like if I'm in that Your bubble shield. will be flying around. Get get in a big steel bubble and I'm going to launch five F5 tornadoes at you. Not 20. 
20 F5 tornadoes. I'm going to create a new level of tornado F6. I mean, she survived the vacuum of space in one of those bubbles. Yeah, but there was not a tornado in space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's add our let's add our random attribute. This is going to shake it up. I feel like I would win. We don't know yet. we got to add your next attribute. Uh, okay. My first only random attribute is possessed by sequids and controlled by... Okay, so now I'm Conquest, who can control the water, or control weather. weather. I am Being po possessed by, by sequids, and I'm controlled by Angstrom Levy. Oh, fuck that. Come on. I do not think, Ryan, that you should even draw your other card. I'm going to pull mine, and it's going to be like, is afraid of storms or something. Or uh, likes jelly beans. Uh, all right, Adam Eve with laser eyes that can't stop laughing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm all right, done. So, so, so a sequid got on Angstrom Levy and is using him to control all sequids, including a weather wielding conquest. Yeah, you're dead. Jeez. There's no there. The, right, what I have right here is a royal flush, Ryan. Yeah. What you have is like two. So, of kind. what does the judge think of all this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that, unfortunately, that Angstrom Levy card. I mean. Yeah, I like to go for the underdog and try to make. I can't a, a think point, of anything, but though. there's yeah. there's no getting around that. I, I mean, mean, the fact that she's in like Can, Con conquest and Angstrom Levy teaming up doing anything, especially you're with fucked. the power of sequids, you're fucked. Yeah, mm -hmm. the weather's not even really a factor when it comes to those three. Like, well, Angstrom Levy can open up portals and from he, yeah. What would done. an alternate dimension tornado even be like? <laughs> a space tornado. A space tornado. <laughs> All right, so now I'm the judge. Mm -hmm. It is Ryan versus TJ. Uh, so far, I've won one and lost one. Mm -hmm. TJ has lost. <clears throat> I haven't lost any. You've lost. Oh I've yeah, I've only done one you. and I won it. Hmm. And Ryan has lost one. Yeah. <laughs> so so far, me and TJ are tied. Um. Mine are a little tough here. I'm having difficulties deciding. Yeah, let's see. Mm. Oh, okay. man, mine are, like, really bad. Okay. Well, you have five seconds to comply. All right. One. I know I have my attribute. Two, I have my attribute ready. Three. You're going to destroy me. Whoever you are, four, you're going to destroy me. There's not a lot of confidence there. And I already don't like TJ. Ryan, you win by default for being Ryan. <laughs> All right, so Ryan, you are going to lay down your character and then your character's attribute. Uh, all right, my character is going to be pick a comic book character. Oh. And I'm having a hard time thinking because I want to do something. I'm just going to do... I'm going to do... I'm, I'm going to keep it invincible. I'm going to do Omni-Man, and he breathes fire. I am... Kaboomerang. Yes! <laughs> yes! In space. But, but, I have x-ray vision. Okay. Don't okay. Really, so by, don't really do so anything. already by default. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Kaboomerang, as we've learned, is actually a very strong... Psychic. Or telepath. Psych telepath. Or where he, he focused on, like, all the technology and the electric... The, the like machines and shut them all down yeah and like the world right or something yeah. like that yeah so, so so it's all about the argument right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so let's say the kaboomerang versus omni-man kaboomerang with his x-ray vision looks through his clothes and sees his tiny viltrumite penis makes fun of him and sends him on his way but, fight one. But fight one. But he's wrong. Because Omni Man wouldn't. Omni Man Omni wouldn't Man have wouldn't. a little penis. No. You don't think Debbie Debbie might hit that one time, but after that first time she'd be like, ooh. This I don't alien. know. If it wasn't this small, that's built for my penis. Isn't doing it. Yeah, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> but if it was if it was big, it would fucking kill her. TJ, if you pull a, 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 your random attribute and it says is a Viltrumite, then we gotta fight. But otherwise I don't think we gotta fight. Right. Here. TJ, I'm the judge, you lose. Just a because you're TJ. B because you. But it's not. Fight's not over. Kaboomerang. Fight's not over. You chose Kaboomerang. Who are your other fucking choices? <laughs> Doc Seismic. Way better than Kaboomerang. Uh, really? Yes. Especially I don't know. now when he's like a magmite person. I don't know. And the other one, I don't even remember who it was. Oh, the Blob. Eh. Still better than Kaboomerang. Um. 
my attribute or yeah yeah mm -hmm. is you you using universa's staff so Kaburai. okay which we know it hurt it did hurt invincible it stunned him it knocked him out a little bit but this i mean i'm a zombie man that we're going yeah. I'm Omni Man, breathing fire, wearing a robotic exoskeleton. TJ, mm. can we just? You're dead. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the staff could shut down the exoskeleton. So everyone but... has won one so far. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's. We're not... you lost against me. That's, you won against fun. TJ. We don't have a judge though. Last time we didn't have a judge because it's it's not fair. Well, I mean, it's we don't... kind of yeah. It's yeah, just kind of said that. yeah. Right. We all agree upon who's won. I suppose. Yeah. So um, we're all, so it's me versus TJ. We're gonna start adding the uh, two. locations into the mix now. I don't like picking three in a row, TJ. Okay. The first location is going to be in New York City. So you're on the streets of New York City. Okay. There are some uh, invincible themed locations mixed in here, but we're going by with with the randomness here. Ooh, I have a plethora to choose from, and none of them are fucking kaboomerang. <laughs> Mine. Ah. Uh... No. See, not... I kind of, I kind of want to go for the funny though. You want to go for the funny? I mean, I don't you know. I feel it like doesn't it, matter. The points Bill. don't matter. There's no, there's no winning. There's no losing. But you know, t you, you know, Bill's going for the kill. Yeah, I'm always gonna go for the kill. Except for this round. Now I'm gonna. TJ, go next time it's me versus you. Let's both go for the most ridiculous. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Well, that's not fair. That's like right, next it's time fun. it's you and me. Let's have the most amount of fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You want to have fun? <laughs> no, I want to win. <laughs> exactly. Winning is fun, because then I can go home to Liz and be like, I crushed TJ and his kaboomerang. <laughs> I'm not kaboomerang, You bitch. go first. All right, TJ. You are facing Wolfman. Oh, shit. Okay. Been there, done that. And I am armed with a shrink ray. Interesting. Huh. I have a question for you. Would a shrunken invincible... Still beat a wolfman armed with a shrink ray? And what's his ability? There are three shrunken invincibles. <laughs> so you are your your wolfman armed with a shrink ray, and I'm three inv there are three you're fighting facing in the, you're three fighting in the street in the streets of New York City. Three of them approach one wolfman with a shrink ray gun. No 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 no. That's not how three invincible fight. Yeah. One comes from the middle, right? That has your tension. <laughs> they like raptors? And then the one when you least expect it from the side. That's how they get you. Now, granted, Wolfman has senses and stuff like that, so he might be able to sense... He has senses, and he could always turn back to uh, Gary. Gary and then turn back and then be perfectly fine. No, that's a very that's a very trying thing. That's why that's the 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 elder teaches him to no, not he teaches do him that. No, he teaches him not to do that. To because he's make, vulnerable. To make it to his, um, his, like, death point to test him. I'll push no, it to, the to limit. push because, him to that limit. Go yeah. into the human form and then back. He can do it whenever he wants. A lot, it drains a lot of fucking energy. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It incapacitates it, it him. It brings him back to normal. It it heals his wounds, but it also makes him very very weak to attack. Three invincibles, shrunken or not, would still destroy. Wolf Give us Man. a location. It did. You're on the streets of New York City. Oh. Hmm. I mean, maybe at you, night. Maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe you could turn into Gary and like kind of blend in with all the other people. And Invincible is so good at heart that it doesn't and then he And then he sneak attack, uh, uh, gets him with the uh, shrink ray? Yeah, but still, he's a shrunken. There's still three of them. So, okay. So, you shrink one Invincible. One of the large Invincibles are normal size. I, I shrink all of you. No, no, you shrink one. No, I shrink all of you. How can you shrink all three Invincibles? By pointing and shooting. <laughs> right, but by the time that you take to point and shoot, one or both of the other ones are still on you, ripping you apart. You don't know that Invincible fights like that. Plus, what? Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. We're going to have to add another random attribute. All right, add it. TJ Wolfman will rip someone apart. Invincible. Not a Viltrumite? Wolfman's claws can't penetrate Mark's skin. Sorry. TJ, I think you'd have this if you weren't facing a Viltrumite. They're just too tough. I don't know. All right, let's pull our attribute. <laughs> oh, God. What do you got? So, <laughs> I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is good, though, because you're like the Elder. And that, yeah, so you're the I'm elder the Elder now. Brood. Which the means elder you brood. probably can't turn back into Gary, by the way. To heal yourself. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> I am three Invincibles, and I'm also made of lava. Oh, come mm. on. All right. I clearly win. 
<laughs> oh, so TJ loses that round. Ryan, would you agree? Yeah. You're okay. just pulling the cards. You're what getting do you mean lucky. I'm pulling the cards? I am pulling really good cards. My my other two were Anin. Oh, and, come on. Really? Um, come on. You're just pulling Dark Viltramites. Anin and Darkwing. Darkwing would be fun. Darkwing, I was going to do Darkwing. Especially in New that, York as Shadows. That, that kills with a kiss. Oh, that would have been really good. Yeah. Pop out of the shadow. And and <laughs> 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 All right. It's Bill, Bill versus. Ryan. Yep. All right. For okay. somebody like me. So I'm <laughs> just going to continue. TJ does the elevator music in between. All right. Miles. Wait. Before we look, the location is going to be in, in space. space. Oh, my God. Uh, Bill, have you finished? Have you fucking finished Lost in Space? No, I haven't even. Oh my gosh! Another... What is wrong with you? God, I'm Ryan, gone. have you wa- have you started it? No. Ah, oh, it's so Kate, good. Katie and I are like pretty much all caught up on all shows. Everything's like ended or moved on, so we're ready to start another show. I'm halfway through the second season of Thirteen Reasons Why, mm-hmm. and the first season so the first season was so ridiculously good, like made me sick to my stomach. Good, and I was kind of <laughs> upset when they announced the second season because it had a great and ending. Is it? It's it's good, but not, not good. even close. I'm really? still upset that they continued it. I'll no, still I, watch it. I heard it, that it's but... like it it's almost seems like like Hostel or Saw became like its graphic for the sake it's of being gratuitous. graphic. Mm, the first season it was graphic when it needed to be. Mm-hmm. The second season hasn't gotten graphic yet, but I think it will by the end. It it does need that moment. Eh, I don't know. We'll continue on with the game, but yeah, it's just okay. I wish I just watch the first season right. and uh, carry on. We are in space, Bill. Go ahead. Okay, I have to go first. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's always a person. Okay, all right. I am the Hulk. Okay, and I did have the always option for... goes for the kill. Yep. I am the Hulk, and I can't stop clapping. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready for this? Uh huh. In space. Space, space racer. Space racer. <laughs> And I'm inside a tech jacket in space. Oh. That's really good. Yeah, but I'm the Hulk and I'm clapping. You're too busy clapping. I'm not too busy clapping. Not only that, but Space Racer has his gun. Come right, on. But it's shot through a planet. The yeah, Hulk, with the help of Viltrum. Right Hulk there. will not be the win all card. Like, like I know a lot of people be like, oh, it's the Hulk. Like, you can't beat the Hulk. And that that's it. Space Racer's gun, I agree, would be able to... And you're in space. You can't really move. Right. I'm just... Fl- Maybe I'm using my, my clapping, you're clapping to, to get around. <laughs> to like, so you're always going backwards? You're clapping really, really, really fast. Yeah. Or behind you can't your back stop. to go forward. But, I mean, what would happen if I was able to now, somehow maneuver over to Space Racer, assuming he's on his bike, now, right? Unfortunately, oh, but he's also on. I'm, I've also got the tech jacket, so I haven't finished reading tech jacket. But from what I've seen in Invincible, it can pretty much do whatever I need it to. Yes, you're the Inspector Gadget, yeah. and it increases your. Oh, are you the Invincible? You're I know. He, I know he doesn't have to shower. Like it shaves him. Yeah. I know all that. Are you yeah. enjoying tech jacket, or or are you like post? Like after reading Brit, enjoying it more, knowing that he had a tech jacket on. Oh yeah, and looking back like, to Brit and yeah. the Galdarians. Imagine, um, imagine that what you know now. That would have been cooler, yeah. Reading Brit afterwards. Yeah, yeah, but it's still it's still cool. Yeah. yeah. I uh, think I think I've got you. Just because you can't really move, I can move easily. I mean, space is literally in my name. You understand though that if Hulk. Who can't stop clapping. That's really loud, probably, TJ. Shuffling the Your cards. face is really loud. I know. Loudly mm. attractive. If I were to land... If your head were to somehow uh-huh. land in between my claps, yeah. my hand, your head would be crushed. It, it would. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like saying if your head would to be randomly in the path of the gun that I can shoot through anything, you would be dead, too. But yeah, but... Would Space Racer's gun I'm not going to put my head... Hulk? Be- Bullets can't. No. And I hate Space Racer, so... I, I feel like it might. It goes through Viltramites. It goes through Viltramites. It does? Yep. When did it go through Viltramite? Anytime oh, he's fighting. yeah, like... he's fighting a bunch of Viltramites. Yeah. But those are weakened Viltramites. Would the Hulk fighting a Viltramite? I don't know. Again, with the tech jacket, like, with him floating around in space, let's add her attribute. I think, as of right now, you have the upper hand just because you're mobile. Yeah. And I, I'm just stupid, <laughs> dumb Hulk. <laughs> like... Wow. I'm gonna go mobile. Like right. I just imagine one of those monkeys. Yeah, the you know clapping I mean? monkey. But in play, space, just monkey, like, play. <laughs> All right, my random attribute: I'm Hulk, and I can't stop clapping, and I shoot webs. 
on my claps. <laughs> so every time They're I just going everywhere. Every time I clap, webs just going everywhere. I'm space racer in a tech jacket, and I'm aging super fast. I w- I think. Well, you know what? Is the tech jacket gonna keep me from aging super fast? Uh, that's not how tech jackets work. Mm. You still get old. Sorry. But you're really clean. I'm really clean. Yeah, you're like a clean old guy. I, I don't think it would matter. I think I could take you out before I die. I think all you'd have to do is just you'd see me flailing about in space, shooting web and stuff. Well, that would be confusing though, because there'd be just, so much it's web everywhere. Yeah, white. but it's also through the hugeness of space. It's just a nice trail. Like I'm not gonna lose yeah, but you. The web isn't going anywhere. It's not like shooting out very far. So no. So, so but you're like, propelling backwards every time you shoot web. Oh, when you true. say web, is this like Spider-Man's web or is this like real life web? Like, like you know shoots I mean? web. I think I'm it's assuming Spider-Man. it's like Spider-Man web. <laughs> but the way that I see it is, it's very messy. You I also I mean? see it coming I, I, out of all yeah, ten I fingers. See it, yeah, I see it. I don't see it as like just like you know, you like quick. Because how could he do this and clap at the same time? Yeah, I don't think he has web shooters. I think it's coming out of his fingertips. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I agree. And I think that it's destroyed. I think that you might miss a couple times, but you would get a clean shot. Yeah. At Hulk. I think I got him. I think you would. It's fucking. TJ, oh. what do you think? What it's, do you I agree. Think? You know what? I agree. You know what? What? If we weren't in space, I would have beat you all day long. Tell me why. Why? Because I can't do anything in space. The so Hulk didn't have a jetpack. Yeah. He can't. He wasn't able to move. Mm-hmm. But if I'm on Earth. And I'm facing you, who's also on Earth. You don't well, think I could that still I'd be... fly around? Yeah, but I could move around at least Jump and fucking up at me. stop. Yeah, I grant. Yeah. I'm still I think space makes shooting. it. Space makes it. I'm. You're playing on my home turf. Yeah, that's that's, that's like is. that's not fair. Wow. All right. All right. So now we have Ryan. Let's get the uh, location. The location is. No. It was space again. Atlantis. Atlantis. Are we going with the most ridiculous? All right. We said we would. So but it's, I have to del- I have to discard something that I I discarded this last time and I was very upset about it. Then play. Oh, it. because we're really we don't have to. I'm gonna we shuffle. Can... No, I'm gonna shuffle it back in. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll go with them. The, oh. All right. So we're going. Re- so I have two really the ridiculous of Aqua- attributes. The Kingdom of Aquarius, uh, Atlantis, and <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, I can't decide between my attributes. All right, I got them. We're going we're ridiculous. Really ridiculous. We're going ridiculous. All right, TJ. Uh, I I reveal first. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Underwater, I am Chuck Norris, and I have no arms. Mm. I'm Debbie Grayson, <laughs> 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 and I am really really stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously. I couldn't decide between really really stupid and can't see. So underwater. We're assuming she has a breathing device, and so does Chuck Norris. Mm-hmm. I'm a, but Chuck Norris does have arms, so I think that he kicks really, really hard to propel himself forward and just headbutt. That's why I picture him doing. I mean, even still, he could spin around and use his legs once he gets True, like once heavy. he has that momentum, he just cannonballs around and then kicks. What you got, Debbie? <laughs> Debbie cooks a lot, so she she like she could throw sandwiches. Not underwater, she can't. They're not gonna go very far. Well. That's true, I guess. Uh, so, if, so if you had Chuck Norris swimming at you with no arms, and you were a middle-aged woman that was just beyond average of intelligence, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't... I, I think one's, really, a, str- really one's a strong much. man that can scissor kick you. <laughs> but only scissor kick you. <laughs> but only scissor kick you. Or, or squeeze your head between his legs and, you know. Hmm. Okay, random attribute time. Chuck Norris, underwater, with no arms, is also three stories tall. <laughs> so I don't, I, even, I don't even really swim that much I should, anymore. I should have went with can't see. Oh. Because my, my additional attribute is has no depth perspe- perception. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, Debbie Grayson, really, really stupid with no depth perception. Underwater. Fighting underwater. a three story tall Chuck Norris. With no arms. See, any, uh. any, like, I'm trying to come up with an idea of how Debbie could do it, but it, with Debbie being really, really stupid, she wouldn't be able to come up with the idea that I'm trying to come up with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I'm hurting. That's funny. Yeah. There's not much, there's not much that can be done about that. Sorry, Debbie. I'll shuffle my other one back in there, but it's a big deck. It's probably not going to come back up. No, I think we can get through this. 
All right, so while you're shuffling that, it's me versus TJ. I'm going to pick my three attribute cards since you're shuffling. If I if I pick it, will you tell me? Obviously, you will. I will. Yeah, you say you, when somebody plays if it. If you see it in your hand, you're going to know, oh, this is the card that yeah. Oh, I made them all, so I could probably figure out. It's not one that was made. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Uh, so, right, Bill, so TJ, TJ, you have to draw, too. Oh, oh that's this right. This is uh, TJ versus Bill. Uh... Let's see, Bill. How do you feel about your cards? Um, I, I just I feel like I always have really good ones. <laughs> of course. Uh, do you want me to give you guys a location? Yeah. Your location is the Flaxon Dimension. So we talked about this last time. So I think doesn't really affect. Doesn't us. really affect anything. You're surrounded by aliens. It's kind of a desert location. Everybody around you is aging much quicker than you are. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go random then. I'm gonna. I'm gonna not try to win i guess all right so i am a ninja mm -hmm. and i even though tj should be playing first but and yeah I, oh yeah sorry but it's all right you're, you're good and i have rex explodes implants oh tj has a look on his face of constipation ryan did you put mul a lot of multiples in should have been there should be only be a couple where there's how am i conquest mm -hmm. in robot suit <laughs> there's two of those <laughs> Yeah. So this is fair? Yeah. No. This is exactly what you played. No, no it's not. Didn't you play Conquest in Robot Suit? No, you did Iron Man in Robot Suit. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Conquest. That's right. That would have been uh, really That weird. controls weather. All right. Well, I'm Conquest in that's Robot Suit. That's what you're going those with? Are, those are both cards that Bill has played, but on separate occasions. I, right. I said that using... I was going crazy. Like, I was... Are we both supposed to go crazy here? No. Well, you laid them down, so you got to play those. All right. I could have went crazy. <laughs> so I'm a normal human <laughs> with above normal, like, you know, I can, I can, I'm like Batman, but not as good. But I have Rex Explodes implants so I can shoot exploding balls at mm. you. That probably will do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 There's not, there's not much there's that can be said. There's not much here. No. I mean, unless TJ pulls a card that says he's like. A baby. Like a baby. The baby card might yeah, do the it. The baby card would and then, probably and then, do it. Bill, Let's you need one out. that's Viltrumite. Yeah. TJ, what have you got? I can only be killed by beheading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if Eve, the Adam Eve card had played that? That oh, would have been cool. That would have been awesome. All right. So I'm a ninja that has Rexplodes implants. Uh huh. And my entire body is very sticky. <laughs> 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 so, granted, you kill me. But you're gonna be really I'm, uncomfortable. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be, you're gonna be like, how do I get this I'm off? I'm gonna feel me? dirty about it. Yeah. So like, Bill's okay with like losing this, but he's gonna be happy knowing that you're just gonna be like covered yeah. in this stuff. Yeah. Like, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Do you really you're, like, want in the, to? You sure you where want are we this? fighting? Are you sure you want this? You guys are in the Flaxon dimension. So you're gonna be like in the middle of the Flaxon road, be like, you sure you want to fight me? You're gonna be like really messy. <laughs> you're, trying, you're just trying to convince him not to kill you. Yeah. But really, I'm in robot suit, so the suit is the only thing that gets messy. That's true. Then you just get out of the suit. But I'm really sticky, but what if my stickiness suit? traps you in the suit, you can't eat, and then you die? I mean, I feel like he's Viltrumite. He can go a long time without eating. Yeah, but you're. I'm really he sticky. He can get out. He can I'm bust out really of that suit. Not through if the you, sticky. If a Viltrumite can fly through a planet... With the help of Space Racer's gun, do you have Space Racer's gun? I like the idea of Conquest being trapped inside a suit, a metal a suit. A sticky suit. Like that is just not opening... Yeah, that's it though. Conquest is, is has got that one in the bag. Thanks, TJ. I'm trying to have fun now when you're all trying to come home for the kill. To be fair, I didn't hear you say that either. I I, I heard you just say something like, "Oh, this is gonna be like." I didn't know you guys were playing that game. Oh, it's me versus Ryan now. Yep. All right, pulling my attributes. Let's see. I gotta make a location. The location is going to be. TJ, are you gonna play some elevator music while we wait? When I was six years old. Uh... Broke my leg. I love how every time it's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> That's an Ed Sheeran song? Yeah. I was running from my brother and his friends. We are uh, at Red... What? what a boring song. I'm on my way. You know that song. That's the song? Yeah. It starts with when I was six years old, I broke my leg. 90. Yeah. So, so when I could just tell a random story in song form and make a million dollars? I'm All sure right. he made a... A little more than a million dollars. We are fighting at Reginald Vell Johnson High School. <laughs> uh, Bill has cards down. I have cards down. You're going serious, right? Is that the disc? No. Oh, you're not? No, not at all. 
All right, well then, because I've got really good one. I and do it too. might even be the one that TJ discarded. Oh, it probably is. It's a really good strong one, though. Like, so Which we're not. Which a really good strong one? Should I shuffle this I'm back in the deck? Me. That's not the one. Okay, well, it was Robot. Why would that be my. Because you said it wasn't handwritten, but it was still a really oh, good one. Oh, I got you. Yeah. All right, so if we're going ridiculous, I'm, I'm taking a chance. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I got this one. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Bill. Oh, I, I hate going first. We're at high school. All right. We're at a high school. I am a T-Rex. Uh-huh. And I'm carrying <laughs> way too many grocery bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those little arms. Could you imagine? What a pain. I am Le Bruiser, and I'm allergic to all animals. <laughs> <laughs> So you can't get too close. I can't get too close. All right, so as we, we all know about the T-Rex, like, all animals fear the T-Rex, uh-huh. right? But I'm carrying way too many grocery bags. But is that really an inconvenience to me? Because I have such little arms that most of my... I wouldn't be able to my kill you with... My guess is that you probably have them around, like, you know when you, like, try and carry way too many and they're all the way up your arms? Yeah. He's got them up both arms all the way to the his little elbow thing. Ryan is holding I his think arms in his up, teeth too. his elbows I to his side. I think, that's I, very subjective, Ryan. As if to say that T-Rex have shoulders? They don't. They, they like, don't. They're like just how, in the middle, right? Yeah, but that's what right. I mean. But, but he's going to have the go? bags all the way up to this. Just, sure, but even then, they couldn't. he couldn't hold so them this, any. So, so, <laughs> I know. I'm saying he's probably also got them hanging from his teeth, no, too. No, 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 no. Come on. Like, no, no, never, no, 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 no. You've never... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Have you ever carried way too many grocery bags? If I oh, was yeah. like, oh, you're Ryan carrying way too many grocery bags. Yeah, you're useless. Oh, Ryan's probably hanging them from his ears, too. That's true. Okay, I'll give you that. No, you're Fine. using your arms. You wouldn't use your legs and your knees and toes. Yeah, so his arms are useless anyways is what you're saying. Right, exactly. But it's really funny looking. So, But I would... I mean, I'm a T-Rex. You're, you're like Bruiser. Yeah. And you've... I've got... I've, I'm like super strength, right? Like, you can like throw me through walls and stuff like that. I've yeah, also like ripped off guys' arms. I could probably rip off that T-Rex leg. But I'm going to be sneezing a lot. Yeah. You you go into anaphylactic shock because I'm an animal. Yeah. Right? So if you were to bite me at all, you you definitely go in. And you don't have an EpiPen. Unless you have an attribute that says, has an EpiPen. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what my attribute is. You ready to pull yours? Oh, I have to go first? Yep. So, Bill, you're a T-Rex carrying way too many grocery bags. And I'm also riding a horse. <laughs> How does that work? Like a skateboard? That poor horse. <laughs> I keep picturing him, like, with the grocery bags and then now riding the horse. But, like, doing Destroying the, doing the scream from Jurassic Park, like the terrifying scream mm-hmm. with too many grocery bags. <laughs> I am Le Bruiser. I'm allergic to all animals. And I could fly, but only two feet above the ground. Hmm. So you look really cool at yeah. all times. Yeah. So like, I picture him, like you were just saying, like Jurassic Park. I picture uh, the T-Rex running down a high school hallway with Le Bruiser. No, he's, just... he's riding down oh, you're a right. high school hallway. Riding down, <laughs> down the high school ha- hallway, carrying the bags. And Le Bruiser looking behind him while only two feet above the ground. I don't know. So... What, what is that? It's the T-Rex scream. All right, so would... could Vesta would be better. Could Lay Bruiser... Well, he's... He's... You, you can't forget that he's allergic to all animals. But, I mean, I'm allergic to, like, grass, but I can still go outside. That's what I mean. Like, it's going to be... You're allergic to be... grass? No, I'm allergic to something. My eyes itch sometimes, but I don't know what from... But it's usually when Liz is like, oh, my allergies are so bad, Billy. And I'm like, ooh, my eye itches a little bit. Speaking of being slightly allergic, there was a bee in my uh, in my room this today when I got oh. home from work. It took me an hour and 15 <laughs> minutes to kill it. An hour and 15 minutes. Are you minutes. serious? Yeah. Why? Because it, 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 kept, of bees. it was like really active, too. Like it kept flying around the room. Like I'm, I'm terrified of bees. Like I have a bad phobia of it. And yeah. But man, when I killed that thing, I fucking celebrated it was a good one. Really? I waited for it. Like, literally, it kept moving. That's why it took me so long, because I, I, I wouldn't go anywhere near it <laughs> oh when it was gosh. flying. So it was finally on the window and finally, like, stood still for a minute. And then I took a, a book and just, like, smashed it. Mm. It was good. I'm proud of you. It was a good you one. Thank faced you. your fears. Thank I, you. I don't know. I think a T, I mean, a T-Rex is just a giant lizard. Yeah, right? I think I've got you. Facing Le Bruiser, I mean, he's done a lot. 
I mean, can, I was going to say, Lou Bruiser can't fly, but he runs and, and then jumps, jumps and really. kind of use, propels himself. He but can now, jump but he, through the T-Rex. But he can fly. He can't fly very high. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for your legs. You're falling down. If you take my legs, I'm done. That's what I, I mean. I, like, but just... your legs are in the air because you're riding a horse. <laughs> and the horse is going to deter me because I'm allergic to and the it's horse. another too. animal. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And Shoot. horses have little tiny hairs that get everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And you're also allergic to yourself, TJ, too. We, we need some help here. I still got to go with Le Bruiser. Okay. Yeah, I think Le Bruiser would do it, too. All right. All right, great job. TJ, are we going serious or goofy? Before you look at that card, what do you want to do? Um, let's do another goofy. Another another off-the-wall one? Wouldn't it be funny if you were goofy? I should have infused, like, Mickey Mouse in here and stuff like that, too. All right. It's going to be me versus TJ. TJ, do you want a location? Let's do it. The location is... Mm, that was... Just did that one. We're at the Pentagon. Uh, parking is in the rear. Parking in the rear. Um, so I could go one of two ways here, and Ryan, I'm going to let oh, you choose. But I got a good one. <laughs> Do it then. Just give it a ridiculous attribute. Okay. Uh, All right. I feel like I didn't really get... Mine's not too ridiculous. It's still good. But it's right. got... It's got a, I, I, I gave myself a little bit of a handicap. Oh, uh, actually, no, I, I didn't. Want, I want to be a little different here, so huh. I'm going to go this way, so... All right. You reveal first there, That's right. I am none other than Best Tiger. Mm. Oh, shit. And I can teleport, but I go blind for 10 seconds after each use. That Mm. means nothing. But it means nothing to Best Tiger. (laughs) (laughs) I am Darth Vader. Oh, shit. All right. And I'm pregnant. (laughs) Jeez. Pregnant? Pregnante! Huh. So, I may be, be moving I a mean, little slow. You have the force, and you can block bullets with your lightsaber. Hmm. But, I feel like I can ricochet them around. Hmm. But I'm gonna know that, because I have the force. The force is also kind of a spidey sense. Hmm. Can I... Can, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it is not. They cannot sense impending doom. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Would, give me an example of when someone that was Force-sensitive sensed impending doom. Yoda about Anakin. No, no, no. Mm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's like, that's that's not spidey sense. That's like <laughs> intuition. They. I just think the fact that we've seen in Star Wars movies them block... Several bullets. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, but those were just random stormtroopers. This is Best Tiger. Oh, I agree. I think Best Tiger could take him. I I, here's, I don't. Here's my opinion. I do not no. think Best here's Tiger my, could here's take my him. Opinion. No way. Darth Vader? Pregnant is, is not like, going to slow him down much. Like, it's is, not going to change anything. He's going to do the thing like he did with OutRun, and he's going to, like, shoot barrels. They're going to roll and knock him over. Like, he's not... He used a jet. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't just shoot. Like, he's going to he's gonna do some shenanigans. That's what I was going to say. Darth Vader is literally the most handicapped person that he could be fighting. Like, he, he could take out his respirator somehow, or take out his, somehow... He'd have to do it, though. Darth Vader is fucking Darth Vader. He's like one of the biggest villains in pop culture history ever in life. I have a question for... <laughs> Who the fuck is Best Tiger? Who? He's Best he's Tiger. Like, fuck Best Tiger. What is it? What? Oh, shoot, what was that quote? He's not Good Tiger. Name's not Good Tiger. <laughs> Best Tiger. Yeah. God. So... Who's someone who's defeated Darth Vader? Luke Skywalker, mm-hmm. who was a Jedi for like a day. Luke Skywalker, fuck up, Bus Tiger. You think Luke Skywalker would beat? No, I think Luke Skywalker would. No, I know. I'm saying Luke, Luke Skywalker, Skywalker, who's Luke his Skywalker twin brother, would not. I agree. Luke Skywalker would not. Beat okay, Best but Tiger. you don't, Ryan. What do you think? Do you think that Best Tiger would beat Luke Skywalker? I do. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, I'm sorry, and we all apologize here. For our lack of nerdiness. But no. Luke Skywalker did not beat Darth Vader. Darth Vader chose to fucking sacrifice himself for Luke Skywalker. Oh yeah. Luke, Just so you know. Luke no one beat, his, cause the no emperor, one beat him. Because the emperor was electrocuting. Loyal. Loyal. Lawyer. Oh, which one is it? Lollard. Lollard. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Alright. I'm, ra- I'm grabbing the random attribute. 
Let's shake this up. Where are we fighting again? Oh, no. At, at the Pentagon. Okay. okay yep. <clears throat> oh, TJ. <laughs> Not only can Best Tiger teleport, but I can also fly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's so po- he's so powerful. You're dead. What have you got? What have you got pregnant, Darth Vader? <laughs> Darth Vader is about to end up in the tabloids because Darth Vader Darth Vader is pregnant and drunk. Oh my god, that's not looking that's good. Not he really good. is evil. He's making he's, he's really, really poor decisions. <laughs> yeah, no, he's too. Ever he's... since he killed all those kids, as yeah. Anakin Skywalker. Uh, TJ, you don't stand a chance. I think you're wrong, dude. You're inebriated. I don't think it's over. I think that making making me drunk definitely paints a better picture for Best Tiger. But a pregnant Darth Vader, I think Best Tiger's got no fucking I, shot. Here's what I want. Even being drunk, I feel like it's an argument. I want a uh. scenario written and illustrated where Best Tiger beats Darth Vader. Because I think that it could happen. I think it could. I think you could. I think Best Tiger could potentially beat anybody if you write it that way. I mean, I think, I think that... Best Tiger is now that the fight's over. I'll say Best Tiger is one of the coolest fucking characters. Yeah. Like he's the reason why I love Batman so much because he's like he's a normal guy. He he, you know he's not even blind. For the challenge. He, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. like that, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. He could. He could. Oh, yeah. uh, all right, so we've gone around a few more times. We're we're back where we started. I say we do one more round of all of us against each other, mm-hmm. and then one final round, which I have an idea to do, to do to do. Uh, so TJ versus Bill. Draw your cards. Choose your weapons. Your location is going to be... It's going to be... Telescria. Interesting. Fascinating. They say... She's in the class. You only hear what you want to... Oh. Go mad for a couple grams. (laughs) (laughs) Don't. Don't. Are you guys going uh, going for the kill or going for the uh, funny? I'm going to try to do both. All right. Hmm. Right answer. Hmm. All right. <laughs> choosing, choosing. All right. I got TJ, my own. you having a hard time? I'm having a hard time. Is it because they're too good or too? none of them are good? Uh, they're decent. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to put them together. Sometimes it's hard to, because the attributes don't work well with the characters that you have. Even if the characters aren't that bad, you might want a, a, a less, maybe a character that's less strong, but goes better with a certain attribute. All right, I'm good. So you reveal first, TJ. Uh, I am Brit. Hmm, okay. And... <sighs> you can't beat Brit. And whatever attribute you have, brute, at whatever attribute, Luke Skirworker has an attribute. <laughs> I also have it. I duplicate one opponent's attribute. Okay. Uh, before you reveal Bill, does that mean you can take on one of his random one that he flips? He do would you get have to choose? To. Wait, do, would he, I change though? Yeah, I don't know. Because my argument is going to start out based off. No, of I guess you're right. Then I, I think it, it has to copy that one. Then you're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> so, so what are you giving him? <laughs> so you're getting a jetpack. Let me tell you that much. Because I'm wearing one. All right. That's appropriate. I feel like we've seen Brit in a jetpack before. So we're we? both flying mm-hmm. around. We're both flying around. around. But, I am, but I am Battle Beast. Oh, shit. This uh, is actually would be a very cool fight. Let me remind this is you. This really cool. Let me remind you. Oh. I'm fucking Brit. Yeah, but you can't hurt me at all. You're 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 as strong as you, TJ. He mm. he's not armed with his Brit suit. Even if he was But that's part of that's a part of Brit. Okay, but his rocket gauntlets wouldn't hurt Battle Beast. But he does I have think them. It would. I think he does have I them. I think it would. Battle Beast would chomp through them. Or just grab them off or they'd break in a second. Mm, this I is, think it would hurt him. This is Battle Beast. He I understand that. toe to toe with Thrag. Who survived the Invincible series? Brit survived. That's because Brit is Brit. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> well, <laughs> but how would how would Battle Beast kill Brit? He would keep trying and keep trying, and um, Brit would get fucked up a lot. But eventually, well, this is winning. But right? eventually, Brit would wear down Battle Beast, and he would find a way to fucking kill him. He's still just a fucking kitty cat. He's gonna <laughs> yeah. find a way to beat the sh- to fucking kill him. Just a kitty cat. 
But, I mean, this is about winning the fight. It's not about killing the person, right? So Battle Beast could technically still we've, win against Brit. We've been Brit. arguing death. Yeah, but, I mean, you could still win a fight. Like, uh, Best Tiger won against Brit the only way that he could. Teleported him to another dimension. And then destroyed his way back. That's I, it. I understand. But we've been arguing death. Like, the Adam Eve fight. Okay. So, so Brit can die. Okay. He would die in the vacuum of space. Because he's impenetrable, right? But he's still, I mean, if he suffocates, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or underwater. But the uh, location can't kill why not? I can hold your head under a pond in Telescria. There are ponds and fountains. There are. Yeah. Okay. So I think that I'm standing more of a chance here. Hmm. Because granite... It is tough because Brit is impenetrable. You know, you know what it is? It's it's, 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 it's Joker versus Batman. It's it's an immovable force. No, an in, impenetrable I'm, force meets an immovable object. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what it is here. Yeah, because we Battle need, Beast is super strong, we but need he to, can't hurt Brit. Brit is in, in, impenetrable, but he can't hurt Battle Beast. Yeah, we need to add a random one that's going right, to change it. Well, let's do the. Let's this do the is a stalemate here. It is kind of a stalemate. What have you got, TJ? There's ten of me. <laughs> okay. There's ten of me with ten jetpacks flying around. Ten impenetrable Brits. And you have something. I can see it in your eye. I didn't even look at it yet. All right, okay. Bill. My powers are malfunctioning. <laughs> Uh, so Battle which we Beast assume powers, is his strength, or yeah. his or his cat powers. His cat powers. <laughs> so I so. Uh, Bill, I think that might have just turned on you. There's yeah. only one of you, and there's ten of him. Ten Brits with jetpacks. I think ten Brits could battle. First of all, Battle Beast could easily destroy ten people, like easily. You know what I mean? My powers are malfunctioning. They're not gone. Sometimes I'm super strong. Sometimes I'm as strong as you, but Brit. Who would win an arm wrestle? Cats don't like heights. How about that? My cat doesn't cats like heights. Cats love heights. What are you talking about? <laughs> My cat don't like heights. Aww. Oliver's a weird cat. Oliver. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know because... I think that's it. You think Brit would win against... I, I think there's ten of them. You can't kill him. You literally can't kill Brit. He doesn't even bleed. Like, I, I don't see how he would do it. But a, after a amount of time, because his powers are malfunctioning, because his strength is... Failing. Waning. Yeah. Uh, it hates the. I hate it. I don't want him to win. All right. So me versus Ryan. Yep. Two, three, three attribute, three character. All right. Our location is going to be Atlantis again. We're underwater. Let's see. Oh. All right. Hmm. All right. Um, okay. See, now, I'm glad that you chose the location first because that plays a very important part. It does. Um, I have selected my fighter and my attribute. Bill has chosen his fighter. Yeah, I have. I guess that one is really stupid. All right, you have to reveal first. All right. So, I am Zachariah. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. The main villain... Wolfman, mm-hmm. who's a vampire mm-hmm. and can turn into mist and bats and stuff like that. Yep. And my attribute is I'm throwing knives at you. Okay. As knives fast as I, fast like as you can. the girl knives yeah. from, 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 from from Scott Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim versus the world. world. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I am Alan the Alien. And I'm swinging Ragnars on ropes. What the fucking shit, dude? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so strong. That underwater is not stopping the speed of these Ragnars. I'm throwing them, calling them back. Bringing them back. Throwing them again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm sorry, I, need a, I need a really good card. Can you blow on this card for me, TJ? Oh, oh he kissed it, he and kissed his nose it. touched my finger, <laughs> and I didn't like it. I had a little, little stank. So I am Zachariah, throwing knives, and I'm also Jeez. half Viltramite. Still not enough. The fucking Viltramite cards, man. Oh, Ryan. Is a baby. Ryan, you're a baby Alan swinging Ragnars. So I'm a baby Alan. But you're competent enough. Which we know enough. what he actually looks you're like. You're competent enough to swing Ragnars. But I'm a baby just playing with him, I feel like. And Zach you're Ryan is a You're not making a very good case for no, yourself, No, because I feel like it really <laughs> took a turn. <laughs> so a baby Alan 
are we in agreement would not be able to swing Ragnar's around? No matter what, no matter how strong he is, he's a baby. I think he's playing with him. I think he's swinging him around underwater. It says he's swwinging him around. They're yeah. Just swinging so him he around. has the ability. My card says he's doing it. So he is doing it. Mm. Like a T Rex can't carry many grocery bags, but he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a half. I'm a half Viltrumite Zachariah that can turn to mist. Yeah, you're half Viltrumite, just like Mark Grayson. Wait, could I turn to you're mist a underwater? Or would I just float? You, you just the... turn into mud. You just <laughs> cease to exist. <laughs> no, if I turn into a gas underwater, I would bubble. I would turn into a bubble. Yeah. And I would float up to the top. Yeah. So that that doesn't. Help I mean, it, at it all. helps if I'm if the Ragnars are like teeth are about to close it. That's right. kind of a cool concept if if he was underwater and trying to get away. Yeah. So I could turn into bubbles. And you can't hurt a bubble. A bubble well, yeah, just keeps saying that, bubble. <laughs> but it's not. The, but the bubble's not going to pop. The bubble's just going to turn into smaller bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles. Bubble. Bubble. <sighs> but how are you going to kill me though? Uh, bite your neck. With what? With my oh, fangs. Because you're a vampire. You have Viltrumite, yep. And I'm half Viltrumite, so I have vampire Viltrumite fangs. You're and you're Ragnar's, a baby. Ragnar's hurt Viltrumites though. So if I'm swinging at least two of them around, when I turn into it's bubbles. Dangerous. I turn but into if, bubbles. But then you go back to the top. You gotta come back down. No, not necessarily. Okay, you. S- I'm underwater, right? We're uh-huh. at the bottom of the sea because we're fighting in this, this yeah. Atlantis, whatever. A Ragnar swings at me. He's about to chomp on me. I turn into bubbles. It goes, and I go right between his teeth. And then I turn back into solid form before I float to the top. But there's the other Ragnar. And then I turn into bubbles. <laughs> hey, I'm playing the long game yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. TJ, what do you think? What if it was holy water? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I'm not a priest or something. I could bless the water. Uh, and what's it, the, yeah. what's the name of the, the, pe- the oh, yeah. priest? Uh, holy water. Oh, his name is holy water. <laughs> <laughs> what it, what it comes down to is I could escape the the Ragnars no problem because you're swinging them around the strength of a baby Alan because which I'm a is baby not, and you're a baby and I will get the you baby out card you. man it's that over. that ruins it yeah wow a Zachariah could beat an Alan Zachariah if you were a baby Alan. and what was the last one we just did that was a ridiculous fight that I couldn't believe won what Brit was it versus yeah Battle Beast yeah Brit beat Battle I don't Beast think that's very and Zachari- Zachariah beat Alan. This is ridiculous. This is why we do this, people. This is ridiculous. This is why we do this to spread. Right, gonna do the last, this is the last each. fight, me versus TJ, and we're doing. Uh, we're just gonna do a normal one. I need a hero, doing some stuff and then some I didn't other get my card. things now. <laughs> it hasn't come up yet. No. We're still gonna do one more after this. this. We're still gonna do one more after this. Stuff. We are fighting on the sun. Oh shit! And the sun can't kill you. Might as well be walking on the sun. Uh, oh shit! Cool. I like this card. Okay. TJ, TJ are we going power? Because I'm going power. TJ already picked his two. I'm going power, and I think you're done. I think you're done. My okay. character has robot's body. I'm sorry. It's robot's brain in the body of instead of Rexplode. Robot's brain in the body of. Alien from the Alien movies. Okay. Ooh. And it has Adam Eve's powers. Holy shit. So I'm essentially like, you know, alien, acid blood, smart as robot, using Adam Eve's powers. Oh my god. That's terrifying. TJ? I'm a thrag with a lightsaber. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. I've fought on the sun before, and I know what to do and what not to yeah, do. Yeah, but the alien has you can live in the vacuum of space. That's not no. I'm no. I, not it, it would, that, I'm yeah. not questioning whether the sun would kill it. I'm just saying I I've been here before. The Adam Eve powers. Maybe I can stop your lightsaber, like turn it into to flowers. Oh, fuck your your. Oh little... yeah, it isn't. It is just a thing. It's not. I yeah. can bust right through your. You could, but. Your, all right, so so Pink let's go powers. move by move. So the first thing that robot does is eliminate Thrag's lightsaber by turning Man, it into flowers. I don't flowers. have the freaking noise. I got to make the noise to to distract or to uh, if I was if I was robot in his suit, I would be able to incapacitate a Viltrumite, but I'm not. That's not true, because there's no sound in space. No one can hear you scream. Shit, you're right. Alien. 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 <laughs> I love you're like alien. alien. <laughs> that is, that's actually the card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that you 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 made a very like good for you. Good for <laughs> I you. I get a good pat on the back yeah, for this yeah, one. Yeah, good for you. But Thrag, even without the lightsaber, 
Um, because I mean, presumably, the no matter how the smart this alien is, I mean, it does have Adamy's. This is basically robot with Adamy's powers. Wait a minute. How would Thrag react to acid blood? I think that he, it would hurt him, but I think he, he would, would heal. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It would. I hurt think it would him. like just like burn and just sit burn there for a while, him, yeah. and he would just kind of have to, Br- yeah. brush it off. Yeah, and, and it would heal. I mean, is alien blood stronger than the sun? And they were like inside of the sun. Yeah. And came out roasted. Uh, yes. All right. right. Random the, attribute. My random addition. attribute. See if this helps me because I need something. I can control my opponent's right hand. I have Adam Eve's powers. No way! <laughs> Come on! So, okay, Ryan. You are robot <laughs> in an alien's body that has Adam Eve's powers. And, I can and control, you can control Thrag's right hand. Which is either wielding a lightsaber or, or Adam's or using... Or they're flowers now, I thought. Which could be flowers, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't really turn anything on you, huh? Shit. All you would have to do is control Thrag's right hand, to grab his face, and squash it. That's a good point. Gouge is, his eyes out. Is Thrag strong enough to kill himself? I think. Th- yeah, absolutely. I think Thrag is strong enough to resist himself, grab his arm, and push it away, or bri- rip his oh, arm right. off. If his arm was being controlled, <laughs> he would, he would rip have it to off. fight it, but he would be fighting with his own strength. Which would then create a distraction for the alien to come and do what? kill myself so I'd bleed on him? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I still him. can't hurt him. Well, I got Adam Eve's powers, so maybe just make a big pink thing to squeeze him? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm dead. All right. Gonna cuddle him to death? <laughs> I'm dead. Alright, our final fight. We're gonna do a battle royale. Yeah, all three, all of, three us of us are gonna draw three cards each, and we're gonna have a three-way fight. This is gonna be our final fight. Ooh. Whoa, way oh, to go. Mine bro. are really bad. Good. All three of them lose. are really bad. Someone got my card, I guarantee it. Alright. Final fight! <laughs> okay. Alright, you guys are dead. Aw, oh, man. I have three awesome cards. Awesome cards that I'm gonna have to pick the fun one out of the three. I'm, I'm out for blood. You are? Yeah. Mine are like Terrible, really, really bad. Well, that's. I mean, that makes sense because you're. <laughs> but terrible. they're not even like funny. Like you're a terrible person. Look at, so. look, at, look at the two I'm throwing away. What are you throwing away? Throwing away robot and Anissa. You're throwing away Anissa. Yeah. She's a Viltrumite. That's like a you win. Yeah. Card. Yeah. I'm 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 uh, taking my chances here. Taking good, my chances. Good for you. Commendable Thank you. effort. Thank you. Commendable. All right, TJ. TJ, can you pick your terrible cards, please, so we can crush you in battle? TJ, you reveal first, then Bill, then me. I didn't say that they were, like, weak. I just said that they're just... Okay. Well, not, you, okay. Not a lot of fun, if you will. Go ahead. Right. But I'm, I'm Jason. Okay. And I have telekinesis. Is that Jason? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With telekinesis. All right, Bill. I am Omni-Man. There it is. Armed with a portal gun. Oh, shit. I am the child of Ross Livingston in the sequence and Monster Girl. Oh. So Ross Livingston, who's being possessed by the sequence, had a love child. Had with a love Monster child Girl. with Monster Girl. Well, wait a so minute. So you're basically Monax with. I'm Monax with sequence. With sequence. Well, no, because no, Monax is Monax, part Flaxon. Yeah, Monax mm, so would so be it's, part human. It's human Monster Girl. Sequid. But we don't know if sequid DNA would. Wait, he's not, is he part Flaxon? Yeah, he's half Flaxon, yeah. half Monster Girl. But isn't he half human, half Monster Girl? Robot. No, I guess. Who? Wait, Monax. Who am I thinking of? Monax is Monster Girl's illegitimate child that she had with the Flaxon. Mm, when she was okay. in Monster that's Form. Right, right, right. So yeah, Russ Livingston in the Sequids uh, was my father, and Monster Girl was my mother. So you, I mean... So I could potentially have Monster Girl powers. That's pretty much it, though. Otherwise, Absolutely, but you're also, it's it's very potential, or it's a potential that you've crossed DNA with the sequids too, so you're a monster girl meshed with a sequid. Maybe, yeah. And I can clone myself, but every time I clone myself, it gets dumber. Like Multiplicity. Yeah. Very good movie. I like Pizza. Omni-Man, I think, might have taken this one. But Jason 
never fucking dies. You could decapitate this motherfucker and he's coming back. What if and, I... and he pops up a lot. So if if Omni Man doesn't know that he's coming, mm-hmm. what is he gonna frighten me? He he can fucking he has telekinesis. Okay. And what will that do? Kill you? <laughs> <laughs> I win. Telekinesis means that you can lift objects and stuff. You can't Yeah, I can like hit you with fucking multiple semis and shit. That's All right, gonna hurt I'm you. Omni Man. TJ, pull your okay. random. Let's see what. See if this will change things. And there's 50 of me. God damn How it! How did you pull that twice this game? <laughs> Bill, Omni Man with a portal gun. And I throw bears. <laughs> that's that's always the winner. That is that is a winner. And Ryan's random I'm, attribute. I'm a random monster girl that clones herself. And I can read minds, which is telepathic, hmm. not telekinetic. Which doesn't doesn't really help me that much. I have a lot of stuff so, going on with not, not, a, lot, with not a lot going on. This was like the alien thing. We're like, all right, well, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. So can the sequids? I don't, I, I, it's my card and I don't think I have the sequid ability. Penetrate. That was just my father. My father was able to control the sequids. My mother was monster girl. So you're just half human. And, so you're I, monster girl. I'm again. basically monster girl. Okay. So I have nothing to do with the sequids. Pretty much, I'd say no. That was my father. Yeah, but you're, I mean, were you, Wes Livingston, being 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 controlled by the sequids? So you don't think that... Uh, Not unless one's attached to me. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so maybe one's attached to me. Okay, so I'll be be a monster girl with sequids who can clone herself. But but they get get dumber. Stupider, yeah. And I can still read minds. I don't think I can overpower Omni-Man. I would agree. So I'm out of the fight. And I also think that... 50 Jasons is just like 50 humans with machetes. No, Even though they can't. he's immortal. He can't fucking die. I could take all 50 of you and throw you into the sun. You can't take all 50 of me because you can't get close to me because I have telekinetic powers. Telekinetic powers can't stop me from getting close to you, TJ. I can control you. I can fucking, with a wave of my hand, push you away. Not with all of my bears. Then I'm Not with at all, you. all of those too. Not with all of my bears. Plus, I have a portal gun, so I can just pop a portal underneath of you. And I'm, and, drop, and, and, I'm dropping and buildings. I'm dropping buildings on you. That's like, okay. I'm just swatting them away. I'm just like, whatever. This building. I'm fl- I, 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 I flew through strong. this building yesterday. Yes, he absolutely is. You're crazy. He's not invincible. Omni Man wins. He's stronger than invincible. <laughs> what was that? You win. Is it over? Street Fighter Two <laughs> soundboard. Uh... Yeah, I think Omni Man would win against I Jason. I disagree. I disagree. He would win against fifty I Jasons. Think, I think the telekinesis. You you're overestimating telekinesis, no, dude. Yes, I'm not. You absolutely are. Well, and I would like to see what the audience thinks. Yeah, if you I, uh, if you think Jason fifty Jasons would be able to, with telekinesis would be able to take on Omni Man, let us throwing know. Throwing bears. Yeah, with throwing the bears. Gun. Can't forget the the, the, uh, the portal gun. I think is underrated. Like we got a. I think that's a yeah, very there's important. Yeah, there's more there. There's more there. Uh. We almost went through that entire deck. That was fun. I'm always uh, a little surprised with how fun that is because it's so ridiculous. TJ, what card did you discard earlier? Vampire Slayer. Oh yeah. Me being a big Buffy fan, I wanted to. I wanted to argue yep, it. Yeah, that's in there. So, uh, but after, I, I discarded it for Debbie. After <laughs> after playing this, is there any cards that you could think of that we would we would add for future games? Mm. I feel like there's a good spread. I was worried. I feel like we're... you could do anything. Like we, like we were talking about, like polls that we could put up on Twitter and stuff. And I said Looney Tunes, just Tasmanian Devil versus Duplicate. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of Super Fight expansions. And all Marvin that kind of the stuff Martian too. versus Alan the Alien. There's a there's Rated R expansions. There's Ooh. there's a Walking Dead expansion that you can mix in and stuff. So, uh, but that does it. Remember, we're gonna be back in two weeks talking Tech Jacket. I'm excited to talk about that. Uh, cause it's one of the, it's, I think the last invincible universe thing I personally have never read and I'm really excited about it. I got it a long time ago, but I've been saving it for this podcast to give my impressions. So I read the first graphic novel, the first really? off cover. Yeah. I read all of it, but I forget most of it. Yeah. I'm going to also read infinite. Thanks again, Xavier for that. Uh, we'll be passing that around so we can all read it and hopefully uh, give our thoughts on that next episode. But that does it for us. Thank you all for listening. Remember, you can find us at uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and email us at theinvinciblepodcast at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening. Bye. Bye. You keep this love in a photograph. And I broke my leg when I was six. 